Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This is another video on text to path. If you make your small circle the, your path and then you raise it up, it doesn't look like the path on both of them. Same thing if you make it on your top one and bring it down, it doesn't look like the bottom. It's, uh, it's not the same curvature because the circles are bigger. So one way you can remedy, the, remedy that, and I've already done it, is this is, looks good right in the center. So what I did, let's just take this text and move it, out of the, move it out of the way. And you can even straighten text by going to text and straighten text. So what I did, I made a circle that it was equal between the two equal distance, I nudged it out of the way. Well, let me change my nudge back to 20 to get it out of the way. I don't like it being on that edge of the page. Now you kind of need to zoom in. You know your text. The center of the text is pretty much the center of this E and now all texts are gonna be the same, but this is 1.5 inches tall. So if we go to text, fit text to path on this center one, you can kind of see a number of 1.25, but it's not in the center of the E. So we can move it down and it's now it's in the center of the H and center of the E. I actually could see the 1.75 or 0.75, which would be the half. Let's try to do that again. Let me zoom even and more. See if you can see that. Go to text, fit text to path put it on a path and then bring it down. See the 3.75, the 0.5, the 6.25, and the 0.75, which would be the half of the text. So now it's in the center. And then all you have to do is go up, select it all, go up to object, break the text apart. Let's put our nudge but this is back on 20 and nudge it over to our path. It's gonna look a lot better when you're trying to do that between two lines. It looks really even. So try to do that next time you, you're trying to do text a path between two circles. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.